Hollywood has always been political, always been on the left, but in the last year and a half or so, things have spun completely out of the control. A political movement has become a revolution, and like all revolutions, it has become, it is eating itself. Even the biggest Hollywood stars are no longer safe from the mobs they created. For example, actress Scarlett Johansson was supposed to play a transgendered person in an upcoming film, but had to quit the role after left-wing activists attacked her for not giving that role to someone who was actually transgendered. Well, Daniela Greenbaum is a writer, and until a few days ago, she worked at Business Insider. She wrote a piece defending Scarlett Johansson for taking the role. She said she's an actor, she should be allowed to act. But Business Insider, under pressure from activists, deleted the piece, and she resigned in protest. Danielle Greenbaum joins us tonight. Danielle, it's kind of an amazing story. Um, give us the, the quick outline. So your piece, basically, I hope I'm not mischaracterizing it, said this is an actress, who, an actor, who is paid to portray other people. That's what she seeks to do here. There's nothing wrong with that. Is that was that your argument, basically? Yes, I, I thought that I wrote something totally benign, and I, I basically said actors are paid to represent people who aren't themselves. That's what she's been yes. hired to do, and I don't understand the outrage, frankly. Well, I, th I mean, it's sort of an unimpeachable point. How did Business Insider, Nicholas Carlson, I think, was your editor over there, how did he respond? What did he say to you? What was wrong with that piece? Well, Nick is the editor-in-chief over there, and about, I don't know, maybe three, four, or five hours after the piece went up on a Friday morning, um, I got on a call with him and some of the other senior staff there, and they informed me that many of my colleagues had written them letters very upset at the point I had made and how I had made it, and ultimately they decided to take the piece down. What were they upset about? I mean, did, did they have a case against your point? Well, frankly, I don't really understand their point, but I think most of it was rooted in that I did not give serious consideration to the point being made by the other side, that maybe because transgender people face discrimination in other walks of life, the film industry somehow owes it to them to find them these jobs, or that, quote unquote, that their narratives are being stolen. And my argument was acting is about stealing narratives, right? We don't cast people yeah. to represent themselves, and so this should not be treated any differently. So did they ever fully flesh out their point of view, or was it just the kind of sense that you'd violated some rule that decent people don't violate? You said something naughty, therefore, like, we're punishing you. Well, I was forwarded some of the letters that my colleagues had written, I guess the ones that had said, you know, we're fine with Daniela seeing that we wrote this. And, again, they, they made the argument that there are limited roles for transgender people, and, you know, there are limited roles, rather, that portray transgender people, and that, therefore, they should somehow have first dibs. And my argument so, was, yes. Well, well I just, I'm just worried. We're almost out of time, and I just, since you practice journalism, yes. I mean, what does it do to journalism? I mean, our audience can assess, but I think you're making yes. a totally moderate, reasonable point. You don't I seem crazy so at all. I think most people would agree. If you yeah. can't say something that obvious and sensible, like, can you practice journalism in an environment like that? Well, the thing is that I always thought I was inoculated against this kind of silencing because I do identify as moderate. I mean, I'm right of center, but I'm pretty moderate. And so I was naive yeah. to think that I was sort of immune from this kind of attack. But the reality is that each victory that this mob claims just strengthens them and reminds them yes. of their own strength. And so I don't think anyone is safe from this kind of attack. That's exactly right. That's a really smart point. Godspeed. I hope you find employment somewhere Thank much you. better than Business Insider. Thank you, Danielle.